After the CDC relaxed masking guidance last week, masks were optional inside the House chamber, and even President Biden entered without wearing one. He addressed COVID-19 in his State of the Union address. Most Americans and most of the country can now go mask-free. The president laid out a new strategy on how Americans can live with COVID while resuming normal activities. The four-point plan puts a continued focus on vaccines and treatments, including making antiviral pills immediately available to those who test positive. Second, prepare for new variants. Next, keep schools and businesses open. And lastly, vaccinate the world. These tools are how we continue to protect people. They enable us to move forward safely. Governor Hochul ended the statewide mask mandate for most indoor settings last month and as of today eliminated the requirement in schools. However, in New York City, while public school kids can unmask for outdoor activities, Mayor Adams announced our 1 million plus students will have to wait a little bit longer. He has set next Monday, March 7th, to go mask optional indoors, barring any new spikes. Personal opinion, uh, based on everything I've read myself, I think they're useless. It's debatable, you know, because I'm scared to take off my mask because you never know what could happen, you know. There could be someone who's asymptomatic. So where are masks still required? On public transportation, healthcare facilities, congregate care settings like jails and shelters, Broadway theaters, and any private business if the owner says so. The city's key to NYC program requires proof of vaccination to enter places like restaurants, gyms, and indoor entertainment venues. Mayor Adams says that too goes away next Monday, but city workers still have to get vaccinated or get fired. And there's also big news out of Newark tonight. Mayor Roz Baraka officially lifting the proof of vaccination mandate as well as the indoor masking requirement. He signed that executive order and it is effective immediately. However, private business owners, they do still have the option, the right to require those face coverings if they so choose.